Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we all doing? Great. All good? Okay, my name is Reese, and I am a technician. I am not a researcher. I am Mr. Reliable. The pack mule, I like to think, of the department. Well, someone called me kind of an ass earlier, so I guess that's the same thing. Now, I did a set here about a year ago, and, that, and I was talking about the, the pitfalls and the problems and the hilarity of being a technician. And I thought, no, that's, nah, that's a bit too easy. This. So let's try something different. Now, what can I do? What can I do? I know vengeance. So tonight, you're all going to be witness to an experiment that you're not getting paid for. <laughs> There's no free tea or biscuits. However, there is a bar. And that. So, I had a theory and I had a thought that comedy is tragedy plus time. It's, you know, it's been something that's been said many times before and I wanted to know, well, is this true? I said, well, partly I know it's true because I can get away with telling the joke, you know what, if I was John Wilkes Booth, I'd have shot Lincoln too. A six foot four guy wearing a hat, that big stovepipe hat in a theatre. I'd have shot him. And that. So, but what about something that's a bit more, bit more personal and, you know, a bit more recent than 200 years ago? What about something more tragic that happened to me? And bearing in mind, I have lived in Birmingham. And that. So, 11 years ago, I was hit by a car going at 50 miles an hour. I broke five ribs, smashed my right leg, broken collarbone, and a punctured lung. Yeah, that's your appendicitis. <laughs> and I lost a really nice shoe. <laughs> and that. So, can I make that funny? And so, so I think I can, and that. And I could start right at the beginning, just after I got hit. Just after I got hit. The driver had pulled over, got out his car, looked at me in the heap on the road that I was, and asked me perhaps the stupidest question I have ever been asked. Did you not see me coming? <laughs> now it's at times like this that you learn who you are as a person. You know, everything gets stripped away and that you find, am I a coward, am I a man, or am I a mouse? And I have found out from my answer of, what the fuck do you think? <laughs> that deep down I am a sarcastic bastard. So I'm taken to the hospital and that, and I've learned, you know, these, you know, you pick up a couple of important things and that whilst you're going through like a near-death experience, that there are one or two things that uh, the doctors in the accident and emergency put below saving your life. And the first one is spelling your name correctly. <laughs> and the second one is telling you the, sc the score between the Aston Villa and Tottenham Hotspur match. I was seriously lying there with tubes going into holes that weren't there in the first place and, and holes that shouldn't have tubes shoved up them, going, can you tell me the score, please? I don't know. I was maybe in a bit of shock. I'm not sure. And that. So then I get put on the ward. And, you know, you're recovering and that. And you're in a, in a room with several other people and that. And they're also recovering. And one day, this guy looked at me and said... I don't like you. <laughs> it's hard to argue with that, to be fair. I don't like you. I'm going to burn you. <laughs> and he pulls out a urine bottle. I'm not entirely certain if it was full. <laughs> and said, I'm going to make a Molotov cocktail out of this. And I'm going to burn you. And he starts stuffing it with newspapers. At this point, I'm basically just pressing the, but the nurse's button. In fact, I pressed it more times than Glasgow Council claimed they've taken the cone off the, of Washington's head. <laughs> Satire. <laughs> and that. And after a bit of stuffing this, he looks up at me and goes, have you got a light? <laughs> Sorry, it must be in my other hospital gown. <laughs> at this point, the nurse comes in. And straight away he looks at me like, oh, what is it? But fortunately, the guy gets in there first and goes, ah, nurse, thank goodness you're here. Have you got a light? I'm trying to burn him. <laughs> Thankfully, he was wheeled out fairly quickly. So 
yeah, I'm, I'm recovering and that, you know, I get out of hospital and I'm starting to recover, but unfortunately, I'm left with a rather horrific scar on my leg. Now, I won't show you just now. In fact, I'm going to charge people beer if they want to see it at the bar later on. No. But it's, it's fairly horrific in that. And, um, you know, it's, it's at moments like this that you learn that you've made poor choices in life. And my poor choice was my choice of friends. Because like a normal friend, a good friend would be there saying, Reese, it's okay. It doesn't really matter in that. It's what, you, what you're like as a person, not, not your disfigurement in that. Nobody will care about that. No, 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 no. I had a friend who decided to use it to get laid. <laughs> he would drag me up to women and say, see my friend Reese here? Got bitten by a shark. <laughs> I saved his life. <laughs> Wanna go have sex? <laughs> and it worked. My leg helped him get his leg over. Think about one of them said I should say that. <laughs> so, from all this, I can kind of feel that, yeah, actually, despite, you know, horrific um, pain and, you know, disfigurement, it were a laugh. And, that. and there's some things that I look at and can go, like, actually, do you know what? It was a fairly good time. It was a fairly good thing. Because, number one, I took on a 50 mile an hour car and I won. I took on the laws of physics and kicked them in the ass. And number two, this happened two days before my 19th birthday. I can now claim that I spent a birthday off my head on drugs being, being bathed by people in nurses' uniforms. <laughs> Free. I now have so much titanium in my leg that I'm just a hacksaw away from paying off my student debt. <laughs> and number four, Spurs beat Villa 2-1. Thank you very much. <laughs>